video is gonna be a little bit different. I found a bunch of clips from milking in our old parlor. Basically three or four years ago, I put a GoPro on my forehead and did everything in the milking parlor and filmed it all. And that was in our old milking parlor, the one that we used before we built this one. That parlor was a double six herringbone parlor. I believe it was Alpha Laval and uh, it was a pretty nice parlor. We typically milked about 100 cows in that parlor, give or take 10 or so. And milking typically took about two and a half hours. You could do everything by yourself, including scraping, grabbing all the cows, milking them and cleaning everything down, usually within three hours. So it was really awesome like that. You didn't need to have other people. You didn't need to rely on other people. So I took all the clips I found there, put them all together and did a bit of a voiceover and explained what I'm doing. So I hope you guys enjoy. So getting right into it, the first thing we always did was grab the milk line and put it into the bulk tank. Switch it over from wash mode into uh, milk in the tank mode, I guess. This bulk tank was, I believe, 7,684 liters. Now we're getting the teat dip ready. I believe this teat dip was called 4XLA. You basically just took 50% of the clear solution here and mixed it with 50% of the yellow solution and that was your teat dip. Just a manual dipping cup. These are the milk claws. We're just taking them off the wash trays here. Just a simple Bomatic barrel claw, I believe. And uh, they're on the same wash trays as we have in our new parlor. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. These are the milk filters. They're probably a quarter of the size of the ones we use now. And the milk pump and the receiver jar and everything was in the back corner of the parlor. So in our new one, we have the basement and it's all stored down there. But in this parlor, it was all in the back corner. Hopefully in the new parlor, it's going to last a lot longer and stay a lot cleaner. So now we should be pretty much ready to go for milking. Now we're going to rake the beds. This is canola straw and deep bedding straw beds. I'm pretty sure these are Jordan freestalls. And we always just raked them manually, took the manure out of the beds and uh, flattened them out. This was the outside holding area or exercise area for the ladies. Uh, we don't have one in our new barn. It's a lot bigger and it's not really necessary. To clean that old barn, we always chased them all outside. And then when it was all scraped clean, all the manure was out of the alleys. Uh, we moved them on into the holding area. So when we first started milking cows in this barn, I guess the holding area was big enough. But for as long as I remember, we were leaving the last couple cows, 30 or so, still in the freestall barn. And as milking went on, we would chase the rest into the holding area. So just grabbing the first cows, putting them into the parlor. That's my sister, Nolene. Same prepping routine as the new parlor. We just wipe them clean, strip them, make sure their milk is good, and then we uh, hang them under. So this setup here with the herringbone parlor, it was a lot easier to get kicked than in our new one. But you kind of got used to it. You always knew kind of when a cow was gonna kick, you could see her, see her leg moving already, and uh, you got pretty good at dodging those kicks.
Sweet, so milking's finished up here. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean the parlor. Uh, we always had to manually scrape all of the manure into the holding area where during the next milking we would scrape it away with the skid steer. Of course with the new parlor we click a button and it flushes all the way, which is super convenient. Turning on the pressure washer here. So that was our old parlor. Uh, unfortunately, it is in a pit or in a hole at the back of the yard. We tore that entire barn down and the parlor and everything and it went in a big hole in the back. Uh, you know, it was still a decent parlor, but you know, you gotta upgrade and uh, move forward. So that entire building is gone now. And uh, I also found some drone shots of the farm and also the milk truck picking up some milk. thought of this video if you enjoyed seeing the old milk and parlor that we used before we got into this one here this one's awesome and uh, watching that video it just makes you appreciate this parlor a lot more and uh, everything this parlor has all its advantages over that old one but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below check out the Instagram at Sask and I hope to see you guys in the next video thanks for watching